For this video, we are going to be covering two-step equations. Now, two-step equations should be a review of pre-algebra or of seventh grade material for you. We're just going to go over it as a little refresher. So first, we need to discuss what are called inverse operations. So inverse operations are just operations that cancel each other out. Every operation has one. For example, addition and subtraction cancel each other out. If I have three and I subtract three, I get zero. If I have negative five and I add five, I also get zero. These cancel each other out, so they're inverse operations. Similarly, multiplication and division, if I have three times x and I divide by three, they cancel out and just give me x. Or if I have g over seven and I multiply that by seven, these cancel out and I just get g. So inverse operations just cancel each other out. And we're going to be using these to solve our equations. So our procedure for solving an equation goes like this. Our goal is to get the variable alone on one side. Okay, that's called isolating the variable. We want to get it alone on one side. So here's our process. We're going to work the order of operations backwards using inverse operations. First, we're going to undo any addition or subtraction that we see. And then we're going to undo any multiplying or dividing that we see. All right, so we're just going to be working the order of operations backwards. All right, so here's example number one. It says solve, and we're given 3x plus 5 equals 17. All right, so let's look at our operations we've got going on here. We have this plus 5, and then we have 3 times x here. So what we want to do is we got to get rid of this 5, we got to get rid of this 3, and we just want to have x all by itself on this side. So my first step is going to be to undo this addition here. And the way to undo it is by subtracting 5 on both sides. All right? If I subtract 5 on both sides, I've got a positive 5 here. I take 5 away. They cancel each other out. And on the other side, I do 17 minus 5, and I get 12. So I end up with 3x equals 12. Remember, anything that we do to one side of an equation, we have to do to the other side of the equal sign. All right? I can't just take 5 away here. I have to take it away on both sides. All right, so we're still not done. We have 3x equals 12. We want to know what x is, so we need to get rid of this 3. Remember, I'm multiplying my 3 here. So to get rid of that multiplication, we have to divide both sides by 3. All right. Okay, we undo our multiplying by dividing. On this side, my 3's cancel, and I just get x. On the other side, I get 4. So I get my answer, which is simply x equals 4. All right. All I did was cancel out what I see using inverse operations. First I undid my addition, then I undid my multiplication. We just worked the order of operations backwards. And we could check our work by plugging this in. We know 3x plus 4 equals 7. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace that x with a 4. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I wrote that out wrong. 3x plus 5 equals 17. I was way off on that one. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to replace that x with a 4. Now we're just going to work this out on this side using the order of operations. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 5 equals 17. We notice that what we have on both sides of the equation matches. 17 equals 17. We know our answer works, so x equals 4. All right? So we're just undoing our addition and subtraction, then undo any multiplying and dividing. So let's take a look at example number 2. It says solve, and I have 9 plus 9 equals 2 plus m divided by 7. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this problem the same way. We're going to start by undoing this plus 2 here. 
right? Remember, because of the commutative property, it doesn't matter that this is m divided by 7 plus 2, we're or 2 plus m divided by 7. We're still adding 2. This is a positive 2. So to get rid of it, I subtract 2 from both sides, all right? It's a positive 2, so to get rid of it, we have to subtract 2. On this side, my 2's cancel, and I'm just left with m divided by 7. On the other side, 9 minus 2 gives me 7. So now I have m divided by 7 equals 7. So to undo my division, now I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. All right? When I multiply by 7, 7 on the top of my fraction, 7 on the bottom of my fraction cancel out. I'm just left with m. On the other side, I get 49. So my answer is simply 49 equals m, or m equals 49. I undid my addition, and then I undid my division. Once again, I can check this by saying, okay, 9 equals 2 plus m divided by 7. Plug in 49 for m. So 9 equals 2 plus, that's a 2, believe it or not. 2 plus 49 divided by 7. Evaluate this using the order of operations. 49 divided by 7 is 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. I end up with 9 equals 9, so it works out. 49 is my answer. So we're just using inverse operations to undo any addition and then undo our division. All right, so let's take a look at this one. And this one is a little more complicated, but not really. I have negative 8 minus n equals 14. So my first step is I want to get rid of this negative 8. And I want to think, how do I get rid of negative 8? Well, it's negative, so how about we add 8 to both sides? All right, because it's negative, to get rid of it, I add 8 on both sides. These cancel. Over here, I get 14 plus 8, which is 22. So now I have negative n equals 22. Well, I don't want negative n, I want a positive n. And anytime I want to get rid of a negative, I simply divide by negative 1. All right? Dividing by negative 1, all that does is change the sign. So n divi negative n divided by negative 1 is simply n, and 22 divided by negative 1 is negative 22. My signs just change. So I undid my subtraction with addition, and then I undid my multiplication with division. Now I should probably check my work. I have negative 8 minus negative 22 equals 14. Minus a negative is the same thing as saying 8 plus 22, or negative 8 plus 22. And negative 8 plus 22 is 14. So my answer checks out, so n equals negative 22. So I'm going to leave you with this triad problem. You need to solve 4g minus 8 equals 28.